What's up, internet? My name is Kayla, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I do want to point out something real quick because I noticed it while editing, and I feel like people see it and they don't want to say anything about it, but it kind of looks like my background is a little slanted, like going like this, but like the other way. And I'm sorry, Moose. Um, that is because the tripod that I have absolutely freaking sucks and it's not fitted for a DSLR, um, at least the camera that I have. So on one side, like my camera tilts a little bit down and there's nothing that I can really do to change that without getting a new tripod. And tripods are a lot more expensive than I thought because the tripod I came, came with um, a, I think it was the Canon TSI, which I no longer use for filming, so I don't have a better tripod that would support the weight of my camera, so that's why everything looks a little slanted. Anyways, okay, so a week or two ago now, I put up a tutorial that was just like a light, refreshing, bake up, bake, basic, easy makeup look, and I still did all of the steps I usually do for my makeup. And I was thinking, someone who doesn't really care about makeup, someone like me in high school, that just still seems like way too much products for a look. So I wanted to grab a few items. I didn't want, I wanted to keep this as short as possible, like short of a list as possible. Um, a lot of the things I'm gonna be talking about are kind of choose this or that, you don't need both. This is the full face recommendations for people who don't like to wear makeup. Hopefully that's the title, hopefully the title is more succinct than that, but that's what I'm doing for today's video. So with all that said, let's get rolling. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start off in the order that I would do my makeup. So starting out with the primer, I don't think you really need an actual primer. Unless you have very specific skin concerns that you probably can't really fix with skincare. Um, I don't mean to try to be bragging or anything, but I was just like genetically blessed with very good skin. I mean, I do have break, I've had breakouts, I get this in here and there, but like the whole acne phase of like, uh, puberty where you know all the teachers were like you guys are getting nasty breakouts so, like I never really had that and I mean I've had some skin concerns but since I've passed like a year or something no it's fairly many yeah since like the past year I've been really taking more serious care of my skin and so a lot of the concerns I do have I've just been able to work on it with skincare and not necessarily need to cover it up with beauty products so that's why I'm saying any major specific concerns. My skin type is normal to oily, so if you're normal if you're normal to dry skin, you might want to look something for more hydrating. But basically, as a primer, I think all you need is an SPF. This is the Australian Gold Botanical Sunscreen Face, um, tinted face, so it's not white, it comes out like a tannish color, and it's um, broad spectrum SPF 50, UVA, UVB protection, uh, mineral lotion, not greasy, it is cruelty free, it's um, 3 ounces, and I think it's like $14, $15 if you get it at Ulta. I typically use this as my primer like on the weekends when I know I'm going to be out a lot more. During the week, I'll use more like actual primers because I'm not outside as much but yeah this is pretty much my primer that I use um, on the weekends because I want to have that SPF it does pretty much everything a primer is supposed to do prepare your face for products to go on easier and smoother I don't see really any difference from using my SPF to using another primer except maybe a more luminous primer like the Becca first light primer um, that one intentionally gives a dewiness to my skin but I think you could even find like SPF primers or something that have kind of a more luminous finish so but this I recommend this specifically as a primer because it's really affordable. You get three times the amount of product that you get usually in a primer, so this is going to last you a long time. And you could probably use it on other parts of your body, but those um, sunscreens are usually cheaper um, and you get more product, so maybe just keep this to your face and neck, but whatever. I still think even if you don't use makeup, don't like a lot of makeup, for as a primer or just even on no makeup day, just have some SPF girl or boy SPF. SPF. Okay, so going on to the rest of the face. The first either or is foundation or concealer. I don't think you need both. Um, so today I'm wearing foundation because I didn't even think I was doing this video. Um, but if I had to choose either foundation or concealer, I would go concealer. And in this case, usually people go concealer for brightening the under eyes. But if you're doing either or, I would just go with a concealer that matches your skin tone. And so for just reference point, I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And this is in the shade C3. I use C2 underneath my eyes, but this is more closer to my skin tone, even though it's probably not right. Um, 
But the reason why I would say either or is because if you want to go for kind of the no makeup makeup look, and you want something that's going to be fast, something easy to throw on, I think concealer is going to be easier to throw on because most of them are have the applicator. There's some squeezy tube ones or some potted ones. Actually, a potted one would be really good. Um, because I've been reaching actually for my NARS concealer. That's I use this on no makeup, like on no foundation days. And I'll just take a little dense brush, swirl that in, and put it where I normally put my concealer. And then just like very slowly blend it out to the edges so it doesn't look very blatant like where the concealer lines are. So basically I would do the same thing with this. You slap it on, use a brush, use a sponge, just kind of slowly start, start shearing it out. Um, I still do the bridge of my nose. I'll still do my forehead and my chin because I do need a little bit more coverage on those places anyways. And for me specifically, my redness is still like right here on my cheeks. So I do bring my triangle down farther than that. But again, and then I shear it out. But yes, either concealer or foundation. Um, if you have a lot more redness, a lot more skin issues, you might want to go for foundation. But you do you. I still think it's either or. The next product is another e either or, and that is powdering your face. If you have dry skin, you probably don't need to powder your face. A lot of people with drier skin that I see on YouTube don't powder. They don't bother with it. I mean, some people do just because, but for the most part, they don't. So if you, but if you have like normal toy skin, you might want to powder your face because powder just kind of makes other, the face powders may allow other powders to spread more evenly on the face because a face powder is going to look at your skin tone so you can kind of throw that over and so when you go to like a colored powder like blush or highlighter or anything, it's not going to be patchy and clingy it's going to allow that other powder to blend out smoother but if you have drier skin that's not really a problem you have you have normal oily so I am getting out of the pressed powder kind of mood phase I've hit pan on all of my pressed powders and that's literally three and I'm not sure I'm going to repurchase a pressed powder in the meantime because I've just realized that for me it's really clingy to my skin and that I need that powder to not be clingy because if that powder is clingy then everything else I put on top of it is going to be clingy and it's really annoying and so I don't have a lot of recommendations. Um, I have used this e.l.f. Prime and Stay powder, pressed powder today. I use it. I have it. Um, but I would, but I've been using loose powders a lot lately set my face as the cover effects one is part of my project pan. And I really like the finish of that. I really, pre loose powders are really freaking messy. They really are. But to me, that's also part of the fun of it. And also I just think it's easier. So my two recommendations, I'm keeping this affordable. If you have more normal or drier skin, I would recommend the ColourPop no filter powder. Um, I use this as at my under eyes like all the time. It doesn't dry it out. It comes like, you know, a little shifter thing. And then if you have oily skin, trust me, if you have oily skin, seriously go for the Makeup Revolution baking powder. Um, yeah, it's a baking powder. This is lace. They also have a banana one that's really hyped up and like a terracotta kind of one for deeper skin tones. This is mattifying. Matt, matt, matt. When I am using... Um, when I'm doing a combination, like in my project pans, that I know I'm going to probably have an oily face, I reach for this because this is going to keep my face matte. Matte. Matte, matte, matte. So, if you have more oily skin, this is a great powder to set your face with. I only use this on my under eyes because it dries the crap out of my under eyes. So, those are my powder recommendations. I uh, don't really have a pressed powder option, but honestly, depending on your skin type, you may not even need the powder. So, moving on. Okay, so moving on. I kind of think this would be an either or, but honestly, I would still recommend both. And those are blushes and bronzers. I use bronzers as kind of a faux contouring because I like the dimension bronzing brings to the face. Brings a little bit of warmth, which I do appreciate, but also I can kind of treat it as a contour and put it kind of where it goes, but a little bit higher. I can do the forehead. I can do a fake contour for my nose because my nose needs it, okay? I have a nose that needs some contouring. I'll do it down the chin, across the chest, if my foundation is really light. I love bronzer so much. And so I brought the uh, Physician Formula Butter Bronzer because what else affordable bronzer are you really going to recommend at this point? I am panning the Morphe Debutante Bronzer. This is a mini for a project pan. I'm not sure about my feelings on this, but it's affordable. 
So I think the full size is like $15 and this was seven, but they only have the debutante sh um, shade in a mini, which is stupid. Um, you guys probably know that I really love the NARS Laguna Bronzer, but that's not cruelty free anymore, so I can't recommend that. But with the Physician Formula one, I mean, Elf, White and Wild, Milani has really good baked ones. Um, so there, there's options, but I just have Physician Formula as my example. And then I would also recommend having blush. This is the Wet Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. I am so depressed to say that my Makeup Revolution matte blushes are discontinued. You can't get them at Ulta anymore. They are not on Makeup Revolution's website. I am very sad about those news, so I will no longer be recommending them in my videos. But I've been using my little collar icon blush lately, and I do actually have it on my cheeks. I have the Debbie Tom bronzer on too. Now, do I? Yes, I do. Um, so I just... The way Emily uh, Noel explains it is that she, blush just brings life back into your face and it just, she, I don't know, she just kind of seemed really happy in putting the blush on, how it just made her day better by putting it on. And since I remember hearing her say that, I'm just like, yeah, it does. And I just, next we're talking about highlights, highlighter. And I would actually say, have a highlighter. Because even if you skip the blush and the bronzer and everything, there's just something about a soft shade on your face. And highlighter is a really great to do that. Great highlighter is a great way to do that if you have matte, if you have oily skin. So you can kind of use the other products to keep yourself matte. But if you still want the little glow, you can do a highlighter. The highlighter I have on my face is something I am testing out, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I don't, if you don't want an intense highlight, then you don't have to. I mean, everyone talks about the Essence Pure Nude Highlighters. Um, I've been messing with the Hourglass Diffuse Light. Hi, um, it's not even a, it's more of a, just a face powder. Um, it looks very just like bland in the palette, but I really love taking a big fluffy brush and just kind of dusting it all over my face just to bring a nice little sheen. Those, yeah, those to me are just kind of more of a sheen and less of a highlight, but there's so many affordable highlighters if you want to go crazy intense, like Milani, Flower Beauty has a really intense highlighting trio. So I would just recommend something a little glowy, a little shimmery somewhere. Okay, brows. Brows is depending on your brow face. Now for me, my mom my mom gave me beautiful skin but what she didn't give me is freaking eyebrows so i have to draw my eyebrows in i wish i had my brother's eyebrows i wish i had my husband's eyebrows they are so freaking caterpillary i'm just like see my husband like just let me twist them they'll be perfect just like just a little bit just a little bit let me let me do it he's like no okay so i would say for me not having brows a brow pencil is very important if you have nice brows or you just kind of need to tweeze a little bit Maybe some brow gel. Maybe you don't even need that. Maybe just take a spoolie. You know, get you can get lots of these brushes and um, these spoolie brushes just like in basic size. I don't know. I think they give a give people that because they're really cheap. And sometimes you might just need to you know, brush them through. You know, the brows are something I think you need to acknowledge and think about if you need something. I need a brow pencil and I need a brow gel. So you do you. So for eyes, I don't think you need eyeshadow palette. I really don't think you do. Now, unless eyeshadows is your jam, then I have a lot of recommendations for you. But I am thinking for the simple girl who doesn't want to deal with makeup, skip the eyeshadow palette. Just take your concealer, just as you're adding it everywhere else to your face, put it on your eyelid to blend it out as you blend everything else out. Would, if you have a face powder that you're using, I would just use that to set your eyelids. And then, honestly, you could pretty much do anything you want if you have a bronzer, if you do have a bronzer, you could use that with a fluffy brush. Just kind of throw it up in the crease. Have a little bit more dimension. You could even take your blush and you could throw that just all over the lid. You can do the same with your highlighter. You can just do nothing at all but set it with powder. That's it. You really don't have to do... I would just, you know, you can do a little bit with your eyes. I like the thought of doing just like a nice little sheen, a little bit of bronzer. But that's me. That's me. And then lastly, just get mascara. Okay, I don't care how low maintenance you are. If you're taking the time, even any amount of time to do your makeup in the morning, just put on some mascara, girl. Like, brow, for me, brows, mascara, lippy. Like, and then everything else because I have to. 
that's me. That is me. Don't listen to what I'm saying. But seriously, mascara for sure. Uh, that's what I think about eyes. Get mascara. If you don't, if you don't want to be a raccoon or a panda for the rest of your life, skip eyeliner. I need my wing eyeliner today. I use the NYX. I can't find it in 30 seconds. I use like the the NYX fine ink fine line pencil pen. I don't. I don't know. I use wing liner. Wing liner is my security blanket. I gotta have it. I I love it. It brings my eyes up. It does some really cool stuff to my face. I love it. In terms of lips, I don't think you need an actual lipstick. Just go for a lip balm. Um, I have the Joa Beauty La Bam Balm. This is the tinted lip balm, and it is a say in the shade Tequila Sunrise. And they have. I wanted. I've been really wanting a red tinted lip balm because. I like red. I like red on my lips, okay? They do have more nudes. They have like a darker berry one. They have basically a clear one. This is like five or six dollars, maybe even three or four because it's a balm, so it's cheaper. In terms of lip use, I just think you need a tinted lip balm or just lip balm in general. But, you know, tinted makes it a little bit fun or better. So, <laughs> I feel like I was just a hot mess all over this video. But thank you so much for watching. That's the end of this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, that would be 9 a.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific Time because sleep is for people who are not me. Team no sleep over here. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go film another video like I always do, but I'll see you on my next one. Have joy.